Hey gang, it's me, Ola, coming at you from deep in the forest, warm water. Well, today started out like the last five out of six trips I've had. Tough. Fish were not biting, and then when they did start biting, 12-inch fish, if that, and I pretty much threw my whole run of baits. And lo and behold, I was headed back into launch, getting ready to leave, and a couple of splotches of pads that I wanted to throw at that are kind of in deep water, and eked out one beautiful fish to end the day. I, I think I ended up with six bass, but this fish made the day totally worthwhile. Beautiful fish. So that made me happy. But as far as the water levels here, super high. I mean, super high. I don't mind at this lake because it's usually so overrun with lily pads that you can't get in it. You can, but then you can't use a pedal drive. You can't maneuver. So the higher water did make it a little easier. I mean, there's still a lot of pads. Don't misunderstand me. The high water today, that was one benefit. And luckily, right at the beginning of the major feed, Bob, boom, big girl comes out. So I don't have a lot of footage, but I'll roll you what I have and uh, show you today's beautiful catching footage. Good morning, folks, 710 here on a Thursday. Skeeters are nice and active. I'm out here in the forest. See if uh, see if I can get on anything. It's been the same old song and dance. Fish are stunned. Littles are only thing biting. Got some wind coming up in a little bit, straight out of the east. But until then, maybe we can have a nice calm morning of catching. Let's see what we can do. Stick around. High water. This will actually help in this location because it is very heavily padded. And this water spaces out the lily pads so they're not all sitting right on top, blocking my pedal drive. I finally got some new tackle frogs, guys. I've been using the same old broken one for months. The little weight thing fell off of the bottom and it's got a hole that just takes in water but I got a replacement it's not the color that I want but that one hasn't been in stock for a year the black or the bone so I have to make do with I got a white one and then I got it's called lemon Skeeters are so bad. It's about 68 degrees. We have not had any cold nights, really, to speak of. And by cold, I mean, you know, like around 50-ish. Just hasn't happened yet. There's the new frog. I'm going to tie that bad boy on real quick. On my heavy... Heavy, fast rod. Oh my gosh, the Skeeters. I thought they were bad at the last place. Oy. Let's do a pure top water. Let's do me favorite. No, let's do a popper for a minute in some of these little potholes. Boy, those squirrels are loud in there. Maybe five or six months since I've been here. And it was really low last time. Earlier this year, before Maine. I guess it was spring. Oh, something just popped it. Come on, fish. He scared himself. I guess those are squirrels making that sound. 
sure are noisy. Something just boiled right there. Let's get it to him. Seven feet of water. It's so calm out here right now. usually fish over here in these pads. Let's throw the frog some more. The white frog. Come on. frog stinks. I need to put some scent on it. I'll just throw the white fluke up in there, see if I can get a little reaction bite. Fluke does wonders sometimes. Just skating it right on top of the pads. Let it pause in the openings. Side of the pads. Let's hit these pads out in the middle with the sinking bait. Let's throw the tiny child right on over there. A couple of sets of pads. Fish like to hang in the deeper water and hide out in the pads right there. and a half. Just throw it right in the center of these pads. There we go. Let it drop. Boy, it didn't drop very far. It's caught up in some grass. The grass is up to five or six feet. Wowza. This might be a good area to swim the bullshad over the top of that grass. Let's try the top water again, the lane changer in and around the pads here, over the top of all this grass. It's so calm out here. Just got some vegetation. I'll oh, just let it go. <clears throat> There's so much junk in the water. slight breeze. Oh, of course I get fouled up way out there. Fouled up, fouled up. Oh. Just 
going between and around pads. It's 11 feet here. Still a ton of grass. Ton! Mm, let's go with the tiny child again. Not a cloud in the sky. That's not good either. We've got a new moon, which is usually one of my favorite times to fish. So, scientifically, we have good conditions. Lunar conditions are right, but it's just the dang sky, high pressure. I wonder if I should just try a wacky rig with no weight on it over the top of all this grass in here. Let's try the popper again since we did have the one bite on it. Up. That didn't seem like a bass. Probably a little crappie. This extra water makes it much easier than trying to fight through this stuff. I'll get up to here where it gets a little bit clear and I'll throw the frog. Such a beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. Let's do the fluke for a second. All right, frog, you're up. I'll throw it right in here. That's some pretty thick stuff right there. Let's throw it over there. Let's throw the Savage Gear swim bait. If I still have that on, I do, I do. This will glide right over the top of all this grass. I don't like the way this thing casts. It tumbles. That makes it prone to getting tangled up. Occasionally it happens. Lots of grass. Shoot, it's just under the surface. Let's keep this thing on top. Just keep it going. Hoping something shoots out of the grass and just pulverizes it. Gobbles it up. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Not big, but a little darky. Woohoo! He is dark. Right there, folks. First fish of the day. Thank you, fish. Save the skunkin'. I am throwing right now a Shadow Wrap Shad from Rapala. It's a slow rising bait. When you stop uh, reeling it, it's 
being super tough. Just let it sink. Just got up in the grass, I felt the Oh shoot guys, that was a good hit. Could have been a, a pickerel. Let's throw it back in there. Yeah, look at that. It's probably a pick, but let's see if we can get him to hit again. Let's let him, let him have it. Come on fish. Come on back. If he'll hit it, come on fish. If that was a bass, it was probably a pretty good sized one. Oh, someone's boiling on it. Got him. Oh, he came off. That was a bass. Let's see if he'll hit again. I tightened my drag just a little. over there. Somebody's popping bait. Let's see if we can get him. Starting to get a little bit of breeze, which will help. I'm blowing that way. Oh, there's a bite. That fish isn't going to give me a second chance. I had a hook in him, I brought him out of the water. Get him out of there. Come here, fish. Had to work for that one. It's only the second fish. Oh, look how thin. These fish need to eat in here. Number two. Thanks, fish. weight out of the Nico and made it a wacky. Got us a little dinkarooski. Just a little fella.
Come on. Swim out of it. Oh, he came out. Then he went to another pad. It's a little better than the first three. Aye. Still nothing giant. Thanks, fish. Just uh, dropping this Nico. Mm. Well, I think it's about time to go. Got this wind kicking up. Right on time. Actually, it gave me an extra hour. We'll fish a little bit more and head back to the launch. There we go. Little. Number five on the inline spinnerbait. Hey, 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 geez, fish. Dang. Number five. good one. It's a good one. Oh yes. It's a good one. We're in the major folks. Dang. Oh my gosh. Get in there. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a little bit of a porker. Woo, that's probably four. Man, what a pretty fish. Pretty fish, we're gonna weigh her. We're not in any challenges or anything. Tiny child, guys. Tiny child. Woo. I think I'll go a little closer, a little closer to the shore in case the wind decides to fire up. We literally just started the major feed. And I mean, I've been dragging, grinding all morning. It's been tough. I think this is number six for the morning. Definitely the best fish since I've been home in Florida. All right, let's get the scale. What a beautiful fish. <sighs> she was hard to get keep from jumping. Couldn't keep her down in the water. Come here, beautiful fish you. Uh, 77 degree water right now. Look at this beauty. I'm guessing she's just under four. All right, here we go. Not even as close to four. She's three pounds, five ounces. Three, five. Let's see how long she is. She's probably 18 and a half. Nineteen and a quarter. Look at that beautiful fish right there. Wow. Yep, she's a good one. Good kayak fish. She's skinny right now. She on the skinny side. All right. Let's let her go. Let's return the beast to the water. Ah, 
I'll take this all day long. 19 incher. What a beautiful fish. Thank you, fish. Oh, look at her. She's a giant. Thank you. That was a beautiful fish. Thank <laughs> you. 